Welcome back, everybody, to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. It's me, the Mighty Lion, and it's time now for what is pretty much considered to be the biggest chapter in the game. And I don't just mean figurative, figuratively, I also mean literally, because guess what? This section, this chapter right here, is divided into four sections. But first, let's check back in Phoenix Hall and see how the Hawk King is faring. Oh, it seems he's gotten news about Rayson's kidnapping. Wait, there's more! It seems that Prince Rayson was able to escape Duke Tannis' villa and made his way safely to the Veracerinus forest. However, we heard that the Tannis' men have entered the forest to capture him. We've not a moment to waste. Please, O King of Hawks, reach out your mighty talons, strike down these wretched humans, and rescue Prince Rayson. I implore you, take wing at once. Why is Nasala not here? Yeah, he can't- he's busy. What's going on, you old buzzard? Yeah. It's very complicated, huh? I don't care for excuses. If anything happens to Rayson, blood will be spilled. Don't know us worry. Duke Chance treats his work of art with a delicacy so extreme it's called abnormal. He will never let any harm fall Prince Rayson. The king told... Oh, hello. Proposal, eh? You set the prince up, didn't you? <laughs> The cat's out of the bag. N Nasala treated Rayson like a piece of merchandise and sold him to a human. Doesn't matter. Claiming ignorance does not grant you innocence. You treated Rayson like a trinket in a public market. If Rayson has escaped his own, perhaps the Crow King would have rescued him when things fooled him. Regardless, Rayson trusted his friend and followed him into his trap. And Nasala spit on that friendship. That I cannot forgive. You're unbelievable. What's with you crows anyway? So dirty and de deceptive. We'll never understand your ways. You hear me, Grey Wings? Yeah. Well, Nilushi feels bad. Yep. Return to Kilvis and report these events to your cursed king. Tell him that when this is over, King Tabon of Phoenicus will be paying him a visit. Uh, I know he deserves it, but I feel bad for bashing the old coot. So, what to do now? Loki, use your ears to pick out the sound of Rayson's wing and tell me where they come from. Janef, use your eyes to peer at the trees and find a road. Human scum. If you think of replaying the night from 20 years ago, you'll get no quarter from me. Yeah, trust me, you do not want to make an enemy of Tabarn. Once he's angry, he will not rest. So, you're up early, Soren. Really? Always awake during that time, eh? So, we got our mission to do. And trust me, li yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long day. But first, battle report time. MVP is... Oscar. Oh yeah, since Satania was out, that means Oscar was pretty much picking up the slack for her. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, so like I said, this is four parts. You pick your units and... You have to pick your units for four sections. You know, I'll explain later. First, conversation between children. Sure, I gotta tap my bowstring. I gotta be ready. In case I'm doing thug shot jump us. So, what's up? Let's not fight any more battles, Rolf. I really don't think we children should be fighting this. Now you say it! Really? 17 chapters in and now you're saying it's not a good idea for children to fight? Let's go back to being kids. Is this what it's part it's like to be an adult? I don't want to do it anymore. You're right, miss. Fighting scares you. I'll fight for you. That's not my main and you know it. You have to stop fighting or it's all meaningless. He's a man. Rolf is a man. Yeah, the enemy. They're human, just like us. They're not paper targets pinned to a tree. I don't want to hear it. They're trying to hurt us and kill us. Jeez. Touchy, aren't we? Uh, by the way, I'm keeping... Miss can only have one more small conversation, and I wanted to be with Rolf. So... Yeah, hang on. Well, I could still do one for Marsha and Rolf. I could still do one for Rolf, so why not? You hit the target 26 times in a row. My goal was 30. 
You're an impressive archer. Yeah, are you sure he's an impressive archer? With the growth he's been getting, I kind of disagree, to be honest. Be firm with yourself and others. That's what the first officer of my old unit told me. But you're still a child? No, he's not a child. Do you worry about me because I'm young? Well, stop it. I can take care of myself. I've grown strong. Okay. We got 290 experience points. And just so and just so we're clear, we get four parts. I already said it four times, but I'm gonna say it the last one time. Since it's divided into four parts, we only have room. So basically, you have to choose your units very, very carefully, because once you choose your units, you're stuck with them for these next four ch for the next four levels. You cannot change. But you can, however, add more units each time. So basically, part first section starts with 10 units. The second section starts with two more units for reinforcements. Marsha got a very bad growth. Moving on. So each time you go level, each time you go on the next level, you get two more reinforcements to add, and you can't take them out. You can't substitute anybody else. So basically, part section one has 10 units. Section two. 12 units. Section 3, 14 units. And finally, section 15, section 4, 16 units. You know what? I'm gonna go and promote Ileana right now. Might as well go for it. Yeah, you know what? The time is right. I'm gonna go promote Ileana right now. And I might as well go for it. Oh, she does have the Master Seal. Class change! While I watch, while we watch Eliana change clothing, I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Holy moly, Eliana has such legs. I mean, my God. Look, oh, jeez, look at those legs. They're ridiculous. Oh yeah, so so. Sages in this game can either use stabs or knives. But choose stabs always. Why would you don't choose knives or sages? It's not a good choice. Their class their strength is weak, except for Eliana's case, who's that kind of decent. But trust me, stabs are always a better option. They're much more useful to have. Okay, let's see. Oscar, can you please use the javelin? Is it possible? Yes he can. Great. Okay. Now she can use. Now that she can use healing items, I'm gonna borrow a. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, level up for mist. I should do that. Can I get a good level up? That's okay, I guess. If that's the best you got. Then okay, then I suppose. Okay, let's give Ileana a a healing staff. There we go. And give Mist some more better healing items. This might come in handy. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're really, really good now. So... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, you just gotta make sure everyone has the right items, right stuff. Can you use this? No, he can't. Not right now. Okay, he can use C level swords, so. Sure, why not? Give him the long sword. This piece of shit is gonna fight whether he wants to or not. Oh, wait a minute, there's a night killer! 16 weight? Jeez. Okay, I'll take it. No, 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 I don't want an iron sword. I don't need that crap. Okay, let's see. Who can use it? Can you use it? Probably. I don't know yet. Pole axe. Cure it? Okay. 
Yeah, this will do for now. Alright, Spirit Dust and two secret books and a speed wing, astral icons, Draco Shield, Talisman, and a bunch of other good things we need. Oh yeah, full guard. This is really important to have. I'm sorry if I'm wasting time with this. I I mean if you want me to cut this, I could. I mean I just thought it'd be a good idea to show I mean I don't know if I could skip, should skip this. Okay, we got some secret books. Who needs some boost in skill? Will it be you, Masha? Here, take one. Okay, maybe you too. No, wait. Um. Okay. I'll keep the boots for later. I know who needs those boots. And since I'm not using Soren, I'm giving that to... You know what? I'm going to save that for later, actually. I changed my mind. Okay. Kieran is very slow with speed. I gotta fix that. Where... Okay, Volk has the speed wing. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There, fix that. And give us some luck too. There, much better. Oh, Astrid. You know, I was gonna give that um Draco Shield to Ileana, but you know what? I'm giving I changed my mind. I give it to Astrid instead. Okay, I think we're just about done. Oh, info conversations. I forgot all about these. Commander Ike, a priest from Duke Tennyson's village, wants to speak to you. So, what is it? Master Mercenary, it's my understanding that you pursue Duke Tennis. I hear that you're searching Serena's forest in hope of catching him. And if I am, Duke Tennis's property borders the forest and he knows much about its layout. For some time now, I've been sending men into the forest to look for any herons who still live there. I too have been taken to the forest. He thought that herons would make themselves known if a priest called to them. He also taken dozens of chaste maidens and tried having them call the herons as well. But he didn't find any, unfortunately. And yet this time, the joy expressed after finding such a price. The Duke has gone mad! To think he would dare to defy the Apostle? He is damned! And here you stand. You're gonna tell me what you remember about the forest, even though if it means you're betraying your own master, right? To begin with the heart of the forest, it's divided into three large sections, maybe more. It's nearly colorless and difficult to see far. The muddy floor is pulled at two feet and progress is slow. In other words, this is a swamp level, which means a lot of reduced movement speed for many people who aren't flyers. There are a lot of soldiers there. Soldiers of pretty much every type. His mounted units and magic user are essentially powerful. So at the very least, you should be prepared to deal with those two groups. So, cavaliers and... Cavaliers and mages. Got it. They participate in, His parents participated in Sarah's massacre, and he feel really, really bad for it. So, rescue that Serenus youth. I beg you, may the gods guide your hand. Don't worry, we'll stop him. Look, let's see how Jill's holding up. Here you are. We've been in Benyon for a while now, so tell me something. Why are you still here? Are you pretending to be our friend so you can lance us in the back? You have to understand. I, I didn't know anything. I was born and raised in the Talariga region of Dayan. It is a very remote area. My father was a soldier, and I grew up thinking that I too would be a soldier to make him proud. My life was simple. I questioned nothing, doubted nothing. You know the first thing that taught in Dane schools? Subhumans are evil. Subhumans are the enemy. Subhumans must be eradicated. The army stages periodic subhuman hunts. We find refugees there. And Jill was also there. She didn't know anything. She's been taught the wrong information. But now her eyes are open. The dragons that pushed the ship off the reef, they confused me. What if I've been raised to believe a lie? My heart pounded at the thought of it, and my doubts only grew with time. So you decided to remain aboard to learn the truth. So, what's your, what do you think now? 
What will you do, Joe Fizzard? I want to stay here. At first I thought I could protect my old life. That I could prove the subhumans were monsters. But I was wrong. And now things are different. The Lagoos. She wants to know the truth about them. So, you're welcome to stay. Now let's speak to our new recruit. La 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 la. La la la. La di li la la. I'm sorry if I made people deaf with that. Have a minute. Oh, Captain, how are you today? It's Commander, not Captain. Well, you seem to be enjoying yourself. The garden is so pretty. Dev Dang all loves all plants of ours. How about you, Commander? All right, I suppose. That makes Dead Dan rather sad. All right is not a strong feeling. It is boring. You should be more emotional, Commander. Even things you're used to will show you something new if you look hard enough. And discoveries are exciting. That's what life is all about. At least that's what Dev Dan thinks. Some disagree, and that makes Dev Dan upset. You may be onto something. In Crimea, when my father was still alive, I think I was more open to such things. But now, I just don't have the time. Honestly, all I can think of is defeating Dane. I have no energy to spend on flowers. If you talk like that, you will never defeat Dane. What'd you say? The war is new. If you're already so focused on preparations, you'll wear out before the fighting begins. He's got a point, you know. <laughs> okay. Enough. Enough breaking days. It's time to daybreak again. Time to get on with the long chapter of the Serenist Forest that was once full of life, now dead. I believe this is the place where we ended our search yesterday. So, I realized something. Even in this forest, you always know exactly where we are, don't you? How do you know that? I think it's a lack of color, but these woods are starting to look the same to me. Yep, all the trees, they're dead. Pretty much all look the same. So, it's time to go. What are you thinking about, Soren? We're going to head deeper into the forest and continue the search. Please wait here. If you find the Heron, we'll send for you immediately. Be careful. We're counting on you. Sigrun, Tenneth, may I entrust the princess to your care? Of course. You needn't worry. We'll protect her with our lives. Okay. It's time to prepare for the journey... Again. In the thick of the fog. So, ten units to start with. So choose your units carefully. Grill mercenaries, move out. Yep, here's wave number one. No way, that's not the way, that's just his personal entourage. Gah, haven't you fools found my precious little bird yet? I have no doubt the poor thing is even quivering in the loneliness and cold. I've received word that the mercenaries who invade your villa are in this forest. Blast those wretches, they're here to steal my bird. Those souls are black with greed and jealousy. I found new beauty incarnate, and I will not relinquish it. Blah blah, shut the fuck up, you fat slob. Hunt them like dogs. Let none of them leave the forest alive. They serve the apostle. Leave the apostle to me, I can deal with her once it's finished. All I need is science and obedience. Is that clear? Yes, you're great. Okay. Wave number one. Kill them. Okay. Here we go. Duke soldiers again. I've had... I think it's time we put an end to these fools. Let's end this here. Okay. So, let's start... We're gonna start off taking out Volk. Putting mist in. I, um. You know what? I'm gonna have to. You know what? I'm putting out Nephany for this one chapter, and I'm putting in Makalov. Alright, let's go. I think I need, I need to train up Makalov, so... Let's, let's go for it. Alright. And so it begins. The big, the long trick here in the Serenus Forest. And by the way, this is important. Try and get, make sure Ike is at level 20 by the end of this chapter. Because, like I said, early, many times before, 
Ike will promote automatically. And by the way, in chapter se in the third section, he will be handicapped, which will kind of affect his skill, affect his ability to fight later on. Y you'll see what I mean later on, but for now, since Ike is close to leveling up, and since these guys can pretty much dodge anything, yeah, I'm gonna leave these guys for later. Oh, and this is also very, very important. You can't use the convoy in the next chapters. In the, rest, in the other section of the chapter. So make sure you have... Make sure your units are equipped with the right weaponry. Or, you'll have to wait till next... Next section. And, um, give them... Otherwise, you're gonna have to wait till next section. And pretty much give them... And pretty much give your reinforcement reinforcement units the weapons that, that they're going to trade to them. So for example, if someone's coming in the next chapter, give them an item that you're willing to trade them to. On the topic of this chapter, if you know the YouTube user Blazing Knight, he absolutely despises this chapter. Personally, not the worst chapter. And Makalov gets doubled! Yeesh. It's gonna be a bitch to train him. Oh, dear god. Oh, it's a Lagoose bow. I I'm okay with it. No, I'm not. Jeez Louise, that's scary. Oh boy. Hey, weapon level up. Now please don't die. Maklov's dead. He, he, he's dead, isn't he? He's set. Yeah, sure. Use Maklov, he said. He's a great unit, he said. Huh? Ugh. Well, Maklov is a kind of decent unit. I just haven't had any chance to train him. Well, that's the problem. No worries, I think the problem was he's being weighed down by the sword. So, I gave him a killing edge. z -Hark's not using it, and I'm not using z -Hark, so there you go. Problem solved. Just give him a just give him a lighter weapon to use, and he'll be fine. Okay, hang on. 12. Uh, okay, he's getting doubled by these guys, so I'm going to watch out. I'm going to keep my distance from him. Yeah. The problem is these guys are too fast too. That's another problem. Okay. Since I'm not in a rush. Well, actually, no. There is a turn lane. So, complete this chapter. All four parts in total by 30 turns. So, basically, we kind of do have to rush too. Alright. Try this again. From the top. Yeah, now who's laughing? Who's laughing now, Myrmidon? I'll show you. I really do love the th battle theme in this game. The drums are just so epic. It's like a brawl in the jungle. Can we go for a two? No. Well, at least he didn't miss this time. Because, you know, the weird thing was I reset the game and last time their biorhythms were best, now they're normal. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to train Makalov now. Jeez Louise, Mac. Good God, Makalov. Ugh. I want to like him, I really do, but he's just making it so difficult for me. And that's a swamp area, which means I have to... Which means I have to go the other way. Which means I have to navigate my horse units around there because they're afraid of water. 
Oh no, horse units can. I think horse units can cross water in this case. Okay. Maybe I can weaken him up for somebody. There we go. Only nine. Fantastic. Fan tucking fast. Well, I'm giving this to Ike. Just to max him out. I don't think this will be enough to from the leech 20, but uh, let's find out, shall we? God damn it, are you serious? Okay, hang on. Yeah, Eliana is not messing around right now. She's a, she's a powerful mage, powerful sage, who can destroy everybody for her food. Just look at that.